what's going on guys mosey back here again with another video uh specifically real talk episode two and i don't really know how this series is gonna go but basically it's just like my venting series where i just like you know have some gameplay in the background i think it's gonna be like xbox only gameplay because it's a lot easier for me to record on my elgato and it gives me an excuse to play xbox because i really miss that because i've been playing on pc a lot you know but yeah, it just gives me an opportunity to really put my feelings out on YouTube uh, that I have for the channel and for everything going on, the creative process, and just, you know, what I have my plans for. But yeah, uh, so basically, let's just get started with this video. Um, I kind of want to talk about my move to Mixer. Most of you do not know this because I haven't really said anything on the channel, but I started streaming on Mixer recently, and... It's been going very well. Like, a lot of people that try to start streaming, they're like, oh, Twitch is the head of everything right now. We should start streaming on there. No, that is wrong. Do not do that. Because there's literally hundreds of thousands of streamers on Twitch right now with tens of thousands of partners. And it's just almost impossible to get noticed on there. And to be honest, the community is not that good itself either. Like... I don't want to talk down on anyone, but it's a very toxic community, you know? If you're not, like, the best or if you're not competing with everyone else on who's the better streamer, then it doesn't really go well unless you're, like, playing Fortnite or something. You know, you're, like, Ninja or Richard or whatever. <laughs> no, those guys are cool. I love watching them. But, uh, yeah, but with Mixer, what really stands out for me is that it's all community-based and community-driven. So, like, whenever... Jax, or you guys know him as Drop Zone, started streaming on Mixer. You know, it was, it was kind of slow at first. We met a couple of people, and it was honestly a lot of fun with the change of environment. But, you know, one person in particular hopped in our chat. His name's Lucy Fletch, and I'll uh, leave him a link and a shout out down on this video. Uh, actually, I'll put it up right now, and also it'll be in the description. But yeah, uh, we were streaming Hunt Showdown, and then this random guy that we have never met before just hopped in uh, the chat and just started talking with us, and we had no idea who he was. Honestly, we thought it was just another random k troll like you would get in uh, Twitch or something. But this dude was really cool, and we started talking, and we started playing, and apparently he's also part of uh, a really good mixer community, and he turned out to be a streamer. And it just opened up this pathway to new friendships with new people and a lot of entertainment. You know, that wouldn't have happened on Twitch where, like, someone would come in and then 15 seconds later they'll just hop out and go watch someone on, like, the top views or whatever. Everyone that's already made it. You know, on Mixer there's opportunity to just flow around to whatever channel you like, you know, find a game and just scroll through it and there'll be plenty of people that aren't necessarily necessarily like full-time streamers and super popular there's a lot of really cool people to talk to and so i might be veering off track i'm really bad about just talking for a while <laughs> hopefully i can get better at it but yeah um so we met fletch and we started playing with them and we got this really good friendship going and we also met other streamers through him you know we know evil we got reaper uh, a lot of the people in the chat like Rapid that I see almost every day that I'm on Mixer. Uh, just a lot of really cool guys. Sorry if I didn't shout out your name. You know, I'm trying to think of everything. There's a lot going through my head. I'm just trying to spit it all out to y'all as transparent as possible. <laughs> so yeah, uh, the Mixer move has been amazing. I recently started streaming. Usually it's just drop zone streaming, but I decided to hop in and do it as well. And it's been going very well, you know, there's some technical difficulties that arise whenever you start anything new on the internet. But, uh, the community's really helped us to get past that. Like, if you're ever having trouble streaming, especially on Mixer, just tell someone and they'll literally dedicate their stream or their time to helping you out and fixing everything you can. But back to, uh, YouTube, which is the main thing I wanted to talk about today. Uh, some of y'all may have noticed I haven't posted in a week, and yes, most of that has been due to, uh, me moving over to Mixer, but I'm not quitting YouTube again. <laughs> like, this ha this happens a lot with our channel, to where we'll be doing really good, posting videos for a couple weeks, and all of a sudden, out of the blues, we just stop, and we're not motivated, but I want you to know that is not the case at all this time. Uh, it's actually the opposite. 
I'm more motivated to make videos and make better videos. And to do that, it takes more time on each video. And I'm doing more than making a video. You know, I'm streaming too. And so with this week, I've taken off of specifically YouTube. I've moved all my um, work over to Mixer. You know, I got all of my graphic design set up. I got all my bots set up. And just making sure the stream will run okay with all my equipment. And it's been really great. So now, not only am I doing YouTube, but I'm streaming. And uh, that's going to take a lot of my time up. And I won't be able to be uploading like every day like I was for the past week uh, before my break on YouTube. But that's not a bad thing at all. In my opinion, that's a really good thing. Because not only do I have time to record better content, but I can go back in and I can work harder on each project. So if I'm not uploading every day and I have a video in mind, I go in and I record it. And then I'll have plenty of time to go in and actually edit throughout the video and not just do like a highlight or whatever and just have raw footage. Even though that's been like kind of my theme on my uh, previous videos was more of a minimalist editing style. I actually have enjoyed going through it uh, trying to edit it to make it more funny. Now don't get me wrong, I still like more of an unedited video type, not because it's easier but at all. But because I feel like if you try and force comedy in a video, then you kind of make it not funny. And th this isn't the case for everyone. Like, I know a lot of YouTubers, specifically, uh, let's, th let's throw in Ryan there. Ryan edits his videos so thoroughly, but it makes it, it like, I don't even know how to explain it. It makes it so much better. Like, I don't know how that man does it, but he's able to take a video that's already funny and honestly he could probably upload it without editing at all but he goes through and edits it and it's like 10 times more funny than it was before even though like it's already a great video there like I don't know how he does it but it's so awesome seeing how he edits his videos and I'm so surprised he's not already like some huge famous youtuber by now but yeah like I, I, I don't want to do that specific style even though it works for some people but I want to kind of ease in to editing my videos more and more to, I don't know, just bring better quality content to y'all. You know, I have Vegas right now and Vegas 15 specifically. And there's so many options uh, for editing on here that I haven't even explored yet because I've been so focused on just pumping out content. So like right now, uh, this will just be like a commentary type video, so it doesn't really need much editing. This will probably be my can't even talk. <laughs> this will probably be my least edited video, and I'll just have like gameplay in the background. Today I'll be playing Halo 5. It's a really good game. First game of the day, I hopped in and got like 30 kills and like I think seven deaths. I don't know. Really good gameplay. Y'all should stick till the end, because the way I ended it is really cool. But I don't want to spoil it for y'all. But I got a legendary medal at the end. <laughs> So definitely stick towards the end if you don't mind me just talking here. I know it can be pretty boring. But I promise you it's worth it. <laughs> so yeah, um, with the whole move to Mixer uh, and YouTube together, it's been really great. And I'm really excited to see what I'm able to bring to y'all. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm really excited to see what I can bring to y'all because like... I don't know, I just I haven't been this happy in a while with all the editing, with the streaming, and all the people I've met. I really feel like I'm at home again. And I don't want to like beat a dead horse because I've said that so many times. But it's really true. Like It just keeps getting better and better. And with Hunt Showdown, that new game that uh, we've been uploading a lot to our channel, there's so much potential with that game. You know, I already feel like I got my foot in the community with the whole discord and then talking to other youtubers hopefully i can collaborate soon but streaming has been great that's how we kind of got introduced to this new community we're joining right now but not only that but like after my week of taking a break from youtube i come back and i see that like my videos are getting over 100 views on it which before whenever we were doing destiny you know that was the expectation if it didn't get over 100 views then it was an unsuccessful video which is a terrible mindset, but that's the mindset I had then. But just to see that happening now, after everything that's been going on, it's just, it's wonderful. And I feel more motivated to work harder for y'all. And I'm just really excited about that. So, uh, I think that's going to do it all for this video. I just wanted to talk about um, what I've been doing, my move from YouTube to Mixer, 
on top of what I plan on doing with YouTube, just more editing and whatnot. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up, subscribe for more, and I will be sure to see y'all on the next video.